Welcome to another video in my clipless pedal series. I've had about two months now of solidly practicing clipless pedals. And for about the last week, every time I get to the trail, I'm not excited to ride. Something's gotta change. So I've been really trying to dedicate myself to clipless pedal practice. There was one ride that I did a few weeks ago on Highline that I switched back to flats for, but that was one ride. And other than that, you know, my two, three, four rides that I do a week, I have been practicing my clipless pedals. It really has robbed me of a lot of my confidence. I really want to get that confidence on clipless pedals. I've talked to some of my friends who ride both or have made the switch, and it just kind of gave me the realization that it, it could take years <laughs> to get as comfortable being clipped in as I am on flats. So, do I quit altogether? I'm not ready to quit yet. I really, really want to get the hang of clipless pedal shoes and get comfortable on them. I like a lot of the benefits of being able to ride clipped in. I love how easy it is to do those wheel lifts on techie sections, but man, <laughs> Like the confidence thing is a real struggle and it's, it's really discouraging thinking, what if I don't progress at all in my technical writing for years? And I don't know if I'm ready to do that. So let me talk to you about what I'm gonna try next. So I've decided I'm gonna try running the clipless pedal on my hardtail and on my full suspension bike I'm gonna switch back to flat pedals for a little while. I ride these bikes about 50-50 because sometimes I'm going on like quicker, swift, pedally rides with only moderately technical stuff or maybe only one or two really challenging spots. And on those rides, I love to take my hardtail. It's just light and swift. On the really challenging stuff though, with a lot more tech, I like to just reach for my full suspension bike. And those are the kind of rides where I really want to be tackling new technical sections and getting more comfortable and and progressing that way you know this is the bike that i'm usually doing that kind of stuff on so this is what i'm going to try for a few weeks and i'll see how it goes there could be another strategy change in the future i don't know how it's going to go but all i know is i've got to do something to still be able to have some wins and some positive feelings about writing because that just breaks my heart to have it be this horrible thing. And I know a lot of you will probably say, oh, you should just abandon it because it's all about having fun. But I'm not ready to call it quits yet because I really do want to get the hang of clipless pedals as well. I have a couple friends and they tend to switch back and forth and they're great riders and they can do awesome things on both. And I'd love to be able to do that. So that is my ultimate goal. I'm going to try this. I recognize that a potential pitfall of doing this is that it could just create confusion for me mentally, trying to switch back and forth. Another possibility is that my brain may adjust and I may learn to go back and forth pretty easily, um, like some writers do. I don't really know what to expect. Everybody's different. This is what I'm gonna try. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, especially those of you who have tried both kinds of pedals. Um, it's totally okay for everybody to have an opinion. Um, I love hearing your thoughts and, and the um, perspective behind why you um, have certain opinions about things. Just remember to keep your humanity as you comment about it because remember that we're talking about pedals here. So it's, it's not worth losing your humanity over. Anyway, it's always great hearing from you guys in the comments. I know a lot of you are also on your own clipless pedal journey or you've experienced something like it. I want to give a big thanks to Ibis for sending me amazing bikes to ride, and I want to thank my patrons who also make videos like this possible. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. Get dusty.